everyone. Hello monkey. In maths this week we're going to be looking at the numerals 9 and 10 and today we're going to be doing some counting. So what will we need for our lesson today? Oh, monkey's got some labels. He's got 9 and he's got 10. So we're going to be using those labels today. He's also got, are you ready monkey? Oh. He's got his big pot of pencils, so we're going to be counting the pencils. And also, the Lego toys, we're going to be counting our toys again. So you might want to have a look around your house to find things that you can count with. You're going to need, remember, nine and ten different objects. Let's get started. For our counting today, I've got the label, nine and the pot of pencils. We're going to be counting out objects from a larger group. So I have got a lot more than nine pencils in my pot. So it's a larger number than nine. And I've got to count out nine, only nine. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Have I got enough? No, you're right, I need one more for nine. Because nine is one more than eight. Nine. It's always good to double check when you're counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can you find nine objects from around your house? And can you make the label nine to go with them? What does my label say this time? What's my number? 10. So how many toys do I need? Will seven be enough? No, because it doesn't say seven, does it? It says 10. So again, we're going to be counting out from the large group of toys. There's more than 10 toys in my pot, but I only need 10. So what number do I need to stop at when I'm counting? 10. Let's count them then. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more to get to ten. Ten. And do you remember what we said? It's always good to have a double check, so count again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you look around your house now and find ten objects? Can you count them out and can you create the label ten? I've got another game to play. Now I've still got my labels. Can you remember what they said? Right, nine and 10 and I've got some pictures we played this game before haven't we when we looked at six seven and eight I've drawn some new pictures so I've got some hands with fingers this is my Lego brick I've drawn another bunch of grapes and there's my buns in my tin I have the ladybird and I also have the fish tank. Now we've got to decide how many. Does it belong with the numeral 9 or does it belong with the numeral 10? So let's start off. Let's count the fingers. Well I know there's 5 on this hand so I'm going to count on from 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
Now I'm going to sort it now. So does it belong with nine or does it belong with ten? What do you think? I think you're right. It belongs with nine. Nine fingers to go under the number nine. Let's have a look at my Lego brick now. We're going to count the circles on my Lego brick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, because my Lego circles on my Lego brick are in twos, I could have counted in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So does my Lego brick belong with nine or ten? You're right. Ten circles on my Lego brick. Let's put it with ten. What have we got next? Grape. How many grapes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'll pop it over here then. Oh no, you're right. It's ten. It goes with the ten. I'm going to give you a minute now. Can you count the buns in the tray? I'm going to help you now. Let's count them one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're in the similar pattern to the Lego brick, aren't they? So we could count them in twos. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten buns. So that's going to go over with the number 10, underneath the numeral 10. Two more pictures to go. I wonder how many dots on the ladybird there are. I can give you a minute to count them. Let me help you now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Nine dots on the ladybird. And I've noticed these dots are in rows of three. So I could have said three, six, nine. Nine dots on the ladybird. So let's put that one over with the numeral nine. Make sure we can fit all in. Okay, I've got one left. Fish is in the fish tank. Can you count them for me? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine fishes in the fish tank. Should I put that with ten then? No, silly me. That's got to go over with nine, hasn't it? Nine spots on my ladybird. Nine fish in the fish tank, nine fingers held up. Ten circles on my Lego brick, ten grapes and ten buns. Thank you for helping me sort those numbers into nine and ten. Maybe you could draw yourself some pictures with nine objects or with ten objects. And you could have a go at playing that game too. Mikey and I really enjoyed exploring the numbers 9 and 10 today. We liked counting out objects from a larger group and we also enjoyed counting in twos. That was quite fun as well, counting in twos. I wonder what you enjoyed doing today and what did you find out about 9 and 10? Bye bye for now.